The true purpose of Christmas is to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the salvation He provided through His death and resurrection. Here are 20 Bible verses to help you prepare your heart for the true meaning of Christmas. Therefore the Lord Himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel, means God with us. Isaiah 7 verse 14 For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9 verse 6 But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me, one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Micah 5 verse 2 The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Luke 1 verse 35 The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the One and Only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John 1 verse 14 But when the set time had fully come, God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law, that we might receive adoption to sonship. Galatians 4 verses 4 to 5 But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Matthew 1 verses 20 to 21. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Luke 2 verses 10-12 For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3 verse 16 Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. James 1 verse 17 And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 19 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 6 verse 23 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15 verse 13 
Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. But for that very reason I was shown mercy so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus might display his immense patience as an example for those who would believe in him and receive eternal life. Now to the King Eternal, Immortal, Invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. 1 Timothy 1 verses 15 to 17 Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion. Shout, daughter Jerusalem. See, your king comes to you. Righteous and victorious lowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. Zechariah 9 verse 9 He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. John 1 verses 10 to 13. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place, and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Philippians 2 verses 8 to 11. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. Romans 10 verses 9 to 10 And this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. 1 John 5 verses 11 to 12 Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Psalm 107 verse 1 